Good evening. Hi, good evening. Good evening, Chen. Good evening, Miss Bianca. Oh, don't call me Miss Bianca. I just want you to call me Teacher Biang. Okay? Ah. Uh -huh. <laughs> because because Miss Bianca is so formal and you're the only one who's calling me like that. Okay. Well, if you call me Miss Bianca, it feels like I'm old already. Okay? So I don't like that. Ah. Uh -huh. <laughs> you just call me Teacher Biang. Okay. So how are you today, Tan? Uh, I'm good. How are you today? I'm good too. Oh well, why are you late? Oh, I I wait for you, but I I don't see you in the in the meeting. Oh really? But I've been yes, wait, I, I've been waiting here uh, already. Yes, I have been uh waiting <laughs> like from like seven p.m. Oh, all right. Because mom, your mom told me that our class tonight will start at seven fifteen. Oh, uh, that's why I I opened my Zoom meeting on at exactly seven fifteen. Okay. Anyway, so are you finished eating your dinner now? Um. No, I haven't eat it. Oh yeah, me too. But I I ate some I ate some chips here. Oh, this is the <laughs> this is my chips because I feel so hungry, and I can eat my dinner at at ten o'clock Vietnamese time. Mm. Mm. It's so late already. So ten o'clock Vietnamese time. That is eleven o'clock here in the Philippines. So that oh. is the time where teacher can eat my dinner. Okay. Well, anyway, I received your video. Your um, is that your mom who sent that to me? Oh. Yeah. Th yeah. This is your video of your homework. Okay. Well, anyway, Tan, I want to ask: Do you have do you have a Zalo account too? Um, yes, I have a, I have fun. Oh, maybe you can add me, all right? Okay. So, if ever that I'm going to tell you something, um, you can, uh, what they call this one? I can chat it to you directly, okay? Okay. Okay, so let's begin, Chan. So, the last one we had speaking practice or activity so we're already done with listening reading and speaking so now we're going back to listening practice or activity again so let's okay. begin <clears throat> all right so we have listening test two so the first one was listening test one, and now this is test two. Okay, let's see what do we have here. Okay, this is part now. Okay, wait a minute, Tan. If teacher is too noisy, <laughs> if teacher is too noisy talking, or if I am talking very fast, or if I'm talking a lot of time, you can tell me, okay? Okay. Because sometimes when I talk continuously, I hear my voice and I say, oh, I'm so noisy already. Okay? Oh. So when teacher is okay. very noisy, you can tell me. Okay, so let's begin. This is part number one with questions one, two, seven. So there are seven questions in this part. For example, uh, for example, for each question, there are three pictures and a short recording for each question. Choose the correct answer if it's A, B, or C. So this is very easy, okay? So, Tan, this is only an example. Let's listen first. Now open your question paper and look at part one. There are seven questions in this part. For each question, there are three pictures and a short recording. For each question, 
Choose the correct answer. A, B, or C. Before we start, here is an example. Where is the girl's hat? Where's your new hat, Sally? I hope you haven't left it on the school bus. Don't worry, Mum. I put it in my school bag because I was too hot. Are you sure? I can't see it there. You probably dropped it in the road somewhere. Oh, here it is, hanging in the hall. I forgot to take it this morning. The answer is A. Okay, so that is the now example. Now open your question paper. Okay, so let's read together. Where is the girl's hat? Where's your new Where's your new hat, Sally? I hope you haven't left it on the school bus. Don't worry, Mom. I put it in my school bag because because I was too hot. Are you sure? I can see it there. You probably dropped it in the road somewhere. Oh, here it is, hanging in the hall. I forgot. I forgot to take it in. I forgot to take it in morning. Okay, so that is the example. So now, oh, wait, where is that? Oh, I think this is the first part for this activity. So this is new words for part number one. Okay, it means that we're going to, um, what they call this one? We're going to use or we are going to, uh, what they call this word? We're going to use or we are going to encounter. Yes, that's the word. We're going to encounter these words later on on this activity. So let's see. All right, so what can you see here on the pictures, Chan? Um, there's, um, it's, yes, hammer. Okay, so let's talk about hammer first. Very good. So hammer is the picture in number one. Okay, now, Chan, tell me something about, so tell me something that you know about a hammer or what's the use of it? Um, like, the, um, Ham, ham, hammer can be used to like break, break the um I this is a break uh, what like break the brick or something like that. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Oh, all right. So you, you say that you're trying to explain that a hammer is used for breaking something like that. Yes. Okay, well, that that is also correct. But but the most important use of a hammer is that um people use it for carpentry, right? Carpentry means they're doing some uh, carpentry work. Uh, they're putting some nail on the woods, on the wall, or some some parts of the furniture or a house. Okay. So next one, Chan. Um, like is a a brush or yes, that's correct. Brush uh, or paint brush. Mm hmm. So a brush or paintbrush is correct. So um, where can we use this one? Mm, we can use to like paint, paint mm -hmm. a picture. Mm -hmm. Very good. What else aside from that? Or draw. Yes. Mm -hmm. What else? Um, I don't know. Well, that's correct. So, 
Um, so a paintbrush is used for painting pictures or for painting or even um, you can use this small paintbrush on painting on the walls or some small things. All right. Yes. Okay, so Chan, have you tried using this one, this paintbrush? Have you tried painting? Um, yes, like, but I think it's actually, um, like, quite difficult to, uh -huh. uh, like, handle. Mm -hmm. Quite difficult to handle. Why? Is it big or is it small? It's like, I can, uh in something that's more it's hard to draw something small like this. Oh, it's hard to use this one when you have to paint smaller objects or pictures yes that's correct because the tip of that is uh, i know some some uh some people when they use they want this one they they cut the pointed part of the brush because they say that it's very hard to use or to, to apply a paint because of the tip. Mm -hmm. So it means that if you have used, if you have tried using this one, it means that you know how to paint. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, very good. So what is your favorite painting? Um, uh... Can you ask again? Oh, what's your favorite painting that you have done for yourself or made um, by yourself? Like, like it's, I have painting so many, but like, I, I don't know why it is. It's all lost. Mm. So what is your favorite subject or what's your favorite image for painting? Usually is um people and sky. Oh, that's very difficult. People, so you paint people with faces. Mm, yes. Oh, that's very difficult. You know what? I have only one brother. Okay, I have a brother, and he's he likes art. He likes paintings too, and he likes lettering or calligraphy. Calligraphy means. It's very good in writing letters. Okay, you know what? He's very, very good in painting all of the things, all, everything, but he doesn't know how to paint a face. Mm, yeah, he's very good in everything. He knows how to, how, how is calligraphy. He knows how to paint nature. He knows how to blend colors, but he is having a hard time drawing a face. So um, I think we call his paintings abstract because there's no details. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, and also I have one cousin, he's a boy also. He cannot draw anything. He doesn't know how to paint. He doesn't know how to draw anything, but he's really, really good in, a, in drawing a face. It looks like a real picture. Mm. Oh, wait, yeah. So I, I'm gonna show you because I'm so I'm so fantasized or amazed by his art. Wait a minute. He's very he's very famous in his school for painting for drawing. Okay, let me show you because he's really good. Okay, look at this one. I will just close my light here. Okay, look, this is his drawing. Oh, yeah. So beautiful. Yeah, he doesn't know how to use painting. He just used colored pencils. Uh, yeah, it's very nice. It looks like a real human. It's very nice. And also, he likes drawing. Uh, you know what is Money Heist? Is it famous in Vietnam? <clears throat> Do you know that Money Heist? That's a that's um, a movie. Money Heist. I have you heard of it? I, 
I I don't think so. I oh. don't think so. Wait a minute. I'm going to show you one more time. I know this is a very famous girl, but I forgot who is this. I think this is in Blackpink. Oh, it's Jenny. Ah, uh, she's Jenny. Ah. Oh. Oh, look. She, uh, he uses only color pencils. But it looks like real, right? Oh, yes. Yeah, he's very talented. Mm, so there are different kinds of people, right? Like my brother, he's very good in painting, but he doesn't know how to draw a face. While my cousin is very good in drawing a face, but cannot draw anything aside from that. So, and you are, you can paint a face and the sky. Oh, very nice. Okay, so what kind of um, painting is that? Is that abstract or I mean, there are more details. Um, I think it's like more details. Oh, do you have do you have uh, a sample there? No, you, but not hmm. actually. Like, uh, it's it's uh it's been a while since I uh drawing. Like I haven't draw drawn in a film um in a while. Like many months. I think. Mm. Okay, well, I think tomorrow we're going to have a class again because we are going to have class from Monday up to Saturday, right? And I'm, I'm so yes. happy for that. I'm very, very happy because I think learning every day is very fun and very nice because there's, there's a big progress. When we are, you know what? This, this lesson is not important for me, okay? These lessons or these materials that we're using is not important. What's important is the way how we talk, the way we communicate, because that is how we learn English well, right? Yes. And you know what? Teacher is not very good in speaking English. There are times that I'm having a hard time expressing my thoughts or I cannot compose my sentence well, but... When I talk to you or when I talk to some of my students, I can practice more, okay? Oh, uh, yes. So okay. that is my, my opinion only. Okay, so Chan, okay. So next time on our class, maybe if you have time, you can, you can look for your things and you see if, if there are examples of your drawing, okay? Okay. Because I really like to learn how to draw. Because teacher has no talent in arts. Okay, next one, Chan. I don't know what what is like earrings. Mm -hmm. Earrings is correct. Okay. Oh. Uh, tell me something about it. What can you say about it? Um. I think this one is not common. Like I don't, I have never seen this one before. Mm -hmm. So what mm -hmm. kind of earrings do you use? Um, I, I, I don't use earrings. Like it, my whole right here is like, mm. it's almost lost. It's almost lost because you're not, you're not putting earrings on it. Yes. Oh, maybe, maybe um, you can put you can put earrings even not every day, okay? Even once a week, once a month, so that the hole in your ear mm -hmm. will not be closed. Because if it's closed already, and then you wanted to wear earrings, you have to push the earrings up to um up to the back side of your ear and it's very and it hurts so bad you know oh. it hurts so bad because you yes. have you're going to have a wound and it will yeah it will have blood also that's very scary i don't like blood all right well let's talk about earrings so earrings this is very common for girls or ladies so this kind of earring we call it dangling 
dangling earring because that oh. is very long like that when you put that it's up to here it's very long yes and you know what teacher likes wearing that i love wearing big earrings dangling earrings but now i don't use it because i'm just staying at home and i have a headset here or headphone here all the time so my ear is hurting or aching when there's a big something here okay yeah, next know. one uh it's tomato okay it's tomato you know what my students some of my students they pronounce it as tomato how about in vietnam uh, do you call it uh, tomato it's no it's kachua yeah. Ka kachun Oh, kachun, yes. kachun. Like that? Yeah. <laughs> near, is it near or is it wrong? Um, it's a closest <laughs> meaning of tomato. <laughs> oh, all right. Some of my students, yeah, they can speak English, but this the correct way on how to say tomato is tomato. But I keep on telling them that is tomato, not tomato, because tomato is like um, a Japanese accent or a, um, an Italian or Spanish accent. Tomato. <laughs> tomato. Okay. So I will. I would like to ask you. So is a tomato a fruit or a vegetable? Um, I I have seen somewhere it's a, it's like a kind of fruit. Mm -hmm. But for you, what is it? Uh, but in there, people still think that it's a kind of a vegetable. Yeah, here in the Philippines too, we consider yeah. it a tomato. We consider it as a vegetable, but in school. I think I, I have encountered it when I was still studying. They said that tomato is a kind of fruit. But oh, but here in yes. the yeah, here in the Philippines we consider it we consider it as a vegetable. Mm. Okay, so do you eat this one? Do you eat tomato? Ah uh, I Yes, I like tomato. Hmm. Where, where, where do you, um, on what kind of foods do you have to put tomato? Like tomato soup. Hmm. Or uh, tomato sauce. Yeah, tomato sauce is for spaghetti or pizza. Yes. Hmm. Um, salad. Yeah. How about else? Or to like a mask for face. Oh, yeah. Some people use it for, they, they squash it like that and they mm. put it in the face because tomato said, uh, they, people said that tomato is really good for the skin. Mm. Mm, but teacher doesn't use anything on my face. Look. I don't but use anything. I, your skin so like it's glow glowing. It's glowing because it I have a light here. <laughs> it's so it's glowing. Oh, because I have a light here. <laughs> okay, well, teacher, just I just wash my face before I sleep, and then when I take a bath, that's all. Oh, you don't like use skincare product no 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 i don't like that because teacher has no money for that <laughs> uh. and also i think that is a waste of time for me because i have a lot of things to do and after work i want to sleep and do and not do anything on my face but other other ladies they like putting something here before they sleep and then washing it and then putting something again right they call uh, it yes like what they what do they call it uh skincare products or oh skincare. i don't think do you use that yes uh, yes after i wash my face i hmm. have to put many things on my face why 
like uh to prevent like acne or oh yeah because you're still a teenager so teenager means that you are in a puberty stage puberty stage means yes um it has you have a change in your body so that is the stage where mm -hmm. your acne goes out and out and out right yeah there are a lot of pimples here and here and here. Okay, next one. Chad, what is this? Uh, ride your bicycle. Yes, that is that is cycle or riding a bicycle. So do you have a bike, Chad? Um, I have an electric bike. Oh, I like that. You know, that's my dream um, vehicle. I like to buy an electric bicycle. Here in the Philippines, we call it e-bike. So do you use it? Do you use it, Chan? Do you know how to drive it? Um, I usually use it like to go to school. Oh. In this... Look downtown like this. Uh, like uh, I I don't use it in uh for uh like for four months like mm. something like that. Mm. Because you don't go out. Yes. Yeah. Well, here that is very famous. It's very famous to have an electric or e-bike because there are a lot of kinds of that there's for one person and then there's for two person there's for three person there are different mm -hmm. kinds of it but i have i have two motorcycles but teacher doesn't know how to use it i just have it here i just i have two motorcycles but i cannot drive it on my own so i have two um, I have to let somebody drive it when I have to go to somewhere. Okay. Uh -huh. So now, Tan, let's begin. Okay, so this is very easy. You just have to listen to the audio and then encircle the letter of your answer, okay? So you're going okay. to hear it two times or it means twice, okay? Let's start it. Now we are ready to start. Listen carefully. You will hear each recording twice. One. What can't the woman find? I'm going to mend and paint the cupboard in your bedroom today. Great, Mum. Anything I can do to help? Yes. Can you go to the shop and get me a new hammer? This one's broken. But before you do that, ask your dad what he's done with the paintbrush. I've looked everywhere for it. There weren't any in the garage. All I could find was this knife, which I lost months ago. Now listen again. I'm going to mend and paint the cupboard in your bedroom today. Great, Mum. Anything I can do to help? Yes. Can you go to the shop and get me a new hammer? This one's broken. But before you do that, ask your dad what he's done with the paintbrush. I've looked everywhere for it. There weren't any in the garage. All I could find was this knife, which I lost months ago. Two. What is the weather forecast for tomorrow? And now, for those of you planning to go to the Rock Festival tomorrow, you'll want to know what the weather is going to be like. As we go through today, the heavy rain will gradually disappear by the end of the afternoon. Tomorrow, we can expect some sunshine, with just a few light showers, and then some very hot and dry weather is likely by the weekend. Now listen again. And now, for those of you planning to go to the Rock Festival tomorrow, you'll want to know what the weather is going to be like. As we go through today, 
the heavy rain will gradually disappear by the end of the afternoon. Tomorrow we can expect some sunshine with just a few light showers, and then some very hot and dry weather is likely by the weekend. Three. What did the boy buy? I got most of the shopping you asked for, Mum. I got the last of the bread and some orange juice, but sorry, there weren't any newspapers left. Oh, never mind. I need to remember to go in the morning. But what about the tomatoes for the salad? Ah,、oh, I forgot. I'll go back for them. Oh, don't worry. I'll stop and pick some up when I go out to collect your sister. Now listen again. I got most of the shopping you asked for, Mum. I got the last of the bread and some orange juice, but sorry, there weren't any newspapers left. Oh, never mind. I need to remember to go in the morning. But what about the tomatoes for the salad? Ah,、oh, I forgot. I'll go back for them. Oh, don't worry. I'll stop and pick some up when I go out to collect your sister. Four. Which present has the girl bought her mother? Hi, it's me, Jane. I've got Mum's birthday present. I think she'll like it. Yes, that's right, a gold-coloured one. She's always writing letters, so she'll find it useful. Hmm. I thought about a CD, but I'm never really sure what music she likes. And Dad's bought her a new pair of earrings for her birthday anyway. I'm sure she'll like what I've got her. Okay, wait a minute. So, do you have any answers for the following numbers that you have listened to? Um. How about number have... one? Uh, number one is B. What can't the woman find? Now we are ready to start. Oh, so your answer here is letter B. Are correct? How about in number two? What is the weather、um, forecast for tomorrow? Um, it's C. I think it's C. C. Yeah, C, C is C. correct. So, did you listen to three and four? Um, three. Three, I have an answer, and four, I think so. Okay, let's see. Number three, what what did the boy buy? Um, is A. Okay, last one. Let's see which present has the girl brought her mother. Um, is C. Okay, yes, that's correct. Okay, so well, ten. Let's continue this one again tomorrow because my. Other student is coming in already. Okay. Okay. All right. So good night, Tan. See you tomorrow morning. Good night. Okay.